Today's tutorial is called Glowing Lights. You'll need some Stampin' Up! pastels, a white gel pen, some dark cardstock, and Q-tips to get this fun glowing window look that I have on this card. Now this technique actually surfaced in a thread on Split Coast Stampers. It's not my original idea, but it's how I made these little glowing lights on these Christmas trees on a little tag. So I thought it would be fun to do windows. You just need a set of pastels. I'm sure you have them and they might be unloved. You need a Q-tip, a white gel pen, and just any dark colored cardstock. I used green on the tag and I'm using Midnight Muse here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw some windows on my dark cardstock with the white gel pen. I kind of prefer the Herald and the Purple Crayon look, meaning I like them not perfect and sort of randomly shaped on here. I think it gives, especially when you're doing a little city building, I think it gives it kind of a fun, whimsical look. So if you wanted to make perfect little boxes and perfect little windows, then go right ahead. Um, for me, I'm just going to channel Harold in the purple crayon. Once you're done, and don't worry about the ink drying, it, it needs to be dry to do this, so you're fine not hurrying up. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp my greeting on my card base. And this does a couple of things. Number one, if I stamp it crooked, I haven't ruined my whole card by stamping it after I already have my little buildings adhered down. But also it lets me position the buildings where they need to be, leaving room for the greeting. If any of you have done that backwards before, you're probably familiar with my fear that I'm going to do it again. Now to make my lights glow, I have a couple different yellows here. I'm actually going to go with the warmer yellow which is summer sun in this case just for a little apartment glow that I think it gives um, instead of a more lemony color and all you want to do is pick up some pastel on your q-tip and just make a little circle around the shape that you've put down with your white gel pen and is that not hilarious and adorable how it looks like little glowing apartment windows and then I just blow a little of the extra dust off before I adhere it down. But the way that the pastel not just colors the white ink, but uh, stays up on the dark cardstock around the window is what gives it that fun, realistic city lights look that I just adore. Now, I just leave mine like this if you wanted to add a sealer after this to make it super permanent you certainly could um, I don't think it's worth worrying about so there you have your little buildings and now I'm gonna go ahead and put my card together now I'm a glue girl so for the big building I just put some Tombow Mono Multi on the back of my building and I set it down. This is really one of the only adhesives I use anymore. Gives you a little wiggle room but then it's stuck forever after you've positioned it properly. But for the second building, which I actually cut at a little bit of an angle, I'm going to use dimensionals to pop it up because that gives it just a little more realism in a cityscape. And that's all there is to it. There's your glowing city lights. And you can see how much fun it is to play with color or to keep them monochromatic in these two very different projects.